Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to a Venice game room. Right, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Now, I was going to do a game, but I've come down with flu at the moment and I can barely talk properly. I'm starting to lose my voice. So I thought I'd do a, a quick guide to setting up Kega Fusion for Netplayer. Now, the first thing you need to do is download it. Now, I'll put the link in the description. Um, but that's where you download it from. Legendsin.net And that will be in the description so you can quickly get there. Once you actually get to the page, you need to scroll down a little bit. And you want the Windows version, which is there, which is 3.64. Now, if you click on that, It'll ask you to save it. Then what you do is you save it out, unzip it to where you want. Then once you've got that downloaded, then what you need to do is click on your start button. Then in the box type CMD, and it'll bring up a program called CMD.exe. You want to run that. Now when you run that, it'll open up a DOS box. Now what you need to do here is type ipconfig and then press enter and what this does is gives you your IP address for your internal network. Now the one we're looking for is the IPv4 address so as you can see mine is 192.168.04 yours will be a little bit different uh, you need to write that down because you're going to need that in the next step so if you just jot that number down on a piece of paper and then we'll move to the next step now the next step is you need to go into your router uh, or your hub as you can see I'm with Virgin Media and then you need to find your port forward settings and add a new rule. Now for me, I called mine Fusion. And then for the start port, you want 5394 and the end port 5394. And I left the protocol as TCP and UDP. Then on the IP address, you need to put your machine's IP address. The IP address that you wrote down earlier that you got from the command box and mine was four then once you've done that you click add rule now as you can see what that's done is it's added a port forwarding for fusion to my computer on the network now all I do is I enable that whenever I want to play multiplayer Mega Drive games and then that set up the, the ports for it after that you need to set your firewall up so if you go down to your start menu and type firewall you'll see it brings up allow another program through windows firewall so you click on that then at the top hit change settings then allow another program Then from there you can hit the browse button and then you just browse to where Fusion is, highlight it and click open. Then it'll ask you what type you want, whether it's home, work, private or public. You want home and work for that setting. And then if I scroll down, as you can see, there's mine, which has been added there. And it's set to home, work and private. And that lets Windows know to let Fusion through. Then once you've done that, all you need to do is run Kega Fusion. Now you have to make sure both people, if you've got a two-player game or if you, well, regardless of the number of players, you all have to make sure you're running the exact same version of the game. So, if I was going to load a game, uh, let's choose one. Let's go with Road Rash for now. Now, once that's loaded. You go to file, go to netplay, 
and if you're going to be the host, you start a netplay game. If you're just joining the game, you just hit join, but we'll hit start for now. Now, on the actual server settings, um, the players, make sure that is set to the correct number of players. So if there's two of you playing, have two. If there's three of you playing, set it to three. Then underneath you've got the latency settings. Now, it's best to experiment with these. Uh, when uh, you could create a server and someone joins, um, it'll list the players in order and then in the little brackets there you'll get a number. Well, that's the latency. You don't want your latency set underneath what their latency is. So if they've got a latency of 50, just set it to around about 55, just, just to be on the safe side. Now, to actually get people to join your server, you need to give them what's called your one IP address. Now, that's very easy to get. Um, all you do is just go to Google and type, what's my IP? And it'll tell you what your IP address is. And that's the IP address that you need to give to your friends. So when they join a server, they can input that IP and then click join. And that's about it. Um, that's Kega Fusion set up for a multiplayer. Um, I'm going to cut this short because I think I'm starting to lose my voice. But uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.